Hey, hi, my name is Suraj, Suraj Tripathi, and I am a Salesforce expert in Cloud and Logic with approx 4 years of experience and I am a platform developer, one certified developer and have experience in many languages like Apex, Java, Aura Components, JavaScript, AngularJS, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and some others. Today I am going to demo you about a CTI integration project which we did for one of our clients. In this we have integrated with Twilio, with Salesforce which included phone calling, robust calling, calling using dialer, click to call and call by different numbers. It also includes the messaging feature. So if you want to send a message, we have this functionality also. So let's start. So here is my org for which I have uh, created all this, all this data. So in the left hand panel, you can see uh, some components which we created. So and the last one is uh, obviously the uh, standard. We didn't create that. So this one is ours, this one is ours and this one is ours. So for the first one is a simple plain dialer. You just have to uh, find a number. Uh, you just have to, if you want to call a phone uh, by their number, you just have to find, just dial this, dial their number and it will search all the contacts which are having uh, the numbers. So you can select uh, the contact from here and just click on this green button. It will start the calling. So I'm just going to demo you uh, how it works. So when you click on this green button, it started calling, calling the contact. So uh, my phone is now ringing and now you can disconnect this if you want to. If you want to talk to that person, you can talk, uh, talk from here. So and the next feature which the client wanted was click to dial click to dial means uh, in the org wherever it finds the phone number uh, the phone number becomes a link like this and uh, by clicking on this phone number uh, it's uh, it will call this uh, number from the twilio so let me show let me show you how it works so suppose when i click on this this number it's it will as you can see that it started calling again so i don't want to pick up that call so i will disconnect so these are the uh, these two are some small features which uh, the client wanted in his in his system so the next task was uh, the next big challenge for us was uh, this he wanted uh, he wanted robust calling in his system. So suppose uh, he has list of contacts which he to whom he wants to contact today. So he wanted those contacts to be shown in the left hand panel, and we created that for him. So let me show you how it works. So uh, first of all, these uh, these are the Twilio numbers which he bought, and uh, th this is for. Uh, this is for changing the number uh, suppose you don't want to con uh, you don't want to contact the contacts from uh, same numbers so you can change your numbers from here so and now the next uh, the next fill the next is it is filter so you can search your <coughs> it filters the record so suppose uh, it is right now uh, uh, in morning state so because I don't have a uh, contact uh, uh, schedule for uh, today morning so it doesn't show anything so suppose if I click on afternoon it will filter out the afternoon it doesn't show anything so uh, suppose if I click on today's list it doesn't show anything because to, uh, today I am not scheduled I have not scheduled any contacts so suppose if I click on tomorrow's list let's see so we got one we got one contact Similarly, uh, I'm going to select uh, all right now. So this all will uh, call all the contacts which are having uh, which are having scheduled date in them. So uh, here is the list of contacts which I'm going to call today. So uh, today or anytime. Okay. So the, this was just filters. So for now, uh, 
let's see how the call button calling works so when i click on this call now button it will take me to the first contact in the list and uh, you can see that in the left hand panel it started calling so it is just for uh, uh, cuteness that uh, this loading functionality so uh, it will start calling this contact and and uh, when you, when your talk is over then you can click any of these buttons to uh, end end the call so suppose if i want to uh, schedule this uh, call tomorrow also so i will click on this end call tomorrow button it will uh, update that contact and it will take me to the next contact to call so right now uh, the right now the contact is, right now the system is calling this uh, this contact so as you can see that it started calling and uh, let's see uh, so uh, let me uh, show how the end buttons works this end call after means uh, it will it will schedule the contact for uh, two days later and this will this will uh, schedule for three days later this will so if i click on this end call only on saturdays that it will it will take the it will update the contact for uh, for next for next saturday uh, which is which is coming uh, right now so uh, this is how it works so uh, suppose if you want to if you are tired of uh, calling uh, calling the contacts and you want some break so just click on this pause button it will uh, after three seconds it will update the, all the contacts and it will now uh, it will not not show you the that contact and you can just go ahead and do your thing so uh, this is how the uh, robust calling works and the last but not the least feature was uh, uh, to send uh, sms uh, sms to the to the contacts okay so here in the contacts uh, and also in the leads you can you will see the send sms button and when you click on this send sms button it will open up a pop up like this uh, and it will ask you, it will show you the number and it will ask you to uh, uh, write uh, write the write your sms so suppose if i click on the um, uh, uh, suppose I want to send this message to this number so I will click on uh, the send SMS but uh, I'm not going to send this uh, SMS to this number because I think it is a working number so it will send uh, the contact uh, a number so I will just go to my contact uh, just go to contacts and I will go to this uh, Ajay Ajay Kumar Dubedi this contact because this is uh, in this my phone number is there so I will select this and I will click on this send SMS and I will uh, write the body that uh, hi I am Suraj I want to send this message and I will click on this send SMS button and it will send the SMS and let me know uh, that uh, your SMS is sent successfully by this uh, alert or if you if it throws any error it will uh, show that uh, th uh, this is wrong let me show you this also so suppose i inputted a wrong phone number and if i click on this send sms it will tell me that the two number is incorrect means the phone number which i am trying to send the sms is incorrect so this was the sms functionality and we have also given the also given the client uh, of inbound and inbound calling and uh, inbound sms also but uh, the client wanted to remove that because he wanted to uh, for he wanted to uh, receive the receive those sms and callings on his on his phone so we have uh, forwarded those sms and callings to his phone number so uh, the last feature which we gave uh, to him was uh, this templates it is a very cool feature so uh, he has a uh, 
so the next thing which he wanted was the next thing which he wanted was uh, to send templates to his contact so the, uh, he wanted to se send six different templates to his contact on six different days according to the contact selected plan and the contact whose dates are coming on the contacts which have their templates not sent till today will be shown in the left hand panel uh, which you can see that uh, it, uh, there it is showing some contacts here so to send uh, to send them uh, the templates you just have to click on them it will uh, suppose if i click on this temp tom jack it will uh, what it will do is it will download this uh, pdf for him and uh, let just let's just wait for it to download so uh, right now it is downloaded and if i open it up you can see that uh, uh, it selected uh, it has some fields of contacts also in it and uh, it is uh, uh, it is a template which he wanted to send to his contacts so what it will do is uh, it will down it will download the pdf and you can just send the pdf to you can just send the PDF to the contact which you, uh, to which you want to send uh, send it to via email or via Skype or any of the uh, today technology uh, media. So uh, these so these are some features which the client wanted in his system and we implemented for him. So if you want to know more about uh, uh, me or our company. Just, you just have to go to this cloudandlobby.com and uh, here you can see about me and uh, about our company. Uh, he's Ajay Kumar Dwedi, founder CEO of our company and here am I Salesforce, uh, Suraj Tripathi. So uh, you can uh, contact us uh, use, uh, by coming to our website. So please do come. And if you please contact us if you think that uh, we are capable, of, we are capable of doing your work. Thanks. Goodbye.